Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Gav and you're with Gav Tarantulas. So today I'm in my bathroom yet again because I've got ones I'm not sure about. If I get anything large um, that I don't haven't raised then I'll sometimes do it in this sort of location. Otherwise normally I just do it um, as and where I am. But I've got an unboxing to do today and this unboxing belongs to this well this unboxing I've got in here which I'll show you I've got two um mature males so we're just going to get them out have a look at them and I've got them from Ian's tarantulas um for a friend of his as well so back my breeding so I'll put all the details in uh, the description below but a big thank you to Ian from Ian tarantulas for sorting that out for me and uh this is the female I've got a little clip up here of her she's huge so just so you can have a look at her there and then we'll unbox the two males and this basically yeah it is your favorite this basically means that you will see a pairing video coming up soon so hopefully we get a successful one and then more from there so thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of the video okay right so the box is just undone because i've got my address and i didn't want you to see it <laughs> so don't you all know where I live? So, as I said before, I've got these off. Uh, Ian helped me out with that, but this is where I've got them from for back my breedings. So, uh, go check them out on Facebook and Instagram as well. So, all the details there for him. So, absolutely amazed for both of them for sending these. So, this is just let's get straight into it. All right, let's put that safe. <coughs> all right, let me get my trusty basket. <coughs> I love the way they've done their packing chips. Really well packed this is, guys. All the styrofoam. Really compact, actually. Yeah. So, in here, as I showed you in the introduction, this is a P. Metallica mature male, matured out a while ago. In fact, we can't even see it, so we'll have to get that out in a minute. It's hidden. And in this one is another mature male P. Metallica. So I wanted to really improve my odds of getting um, a good successful peer, um, pairing and get the female gravid. So I went for two of them. So. Can't see either of them, but I'm going to give you a good look at both. So, um, they're going to go in these temporary enclosures, brand new. And my missus has done those there, so Lucy's done all these. So, let's see how easy it is to house a metallic <laughs> male. Obviously, if you've seen my channel, you see that I. You see that I've done my female and I just let her out and walk around. And she never gives me any threats. She's very calm, very slow, but I've raised her since so tiny sling, so I know what she's like. But always be wary when you get another one that's mature that you don't know. So just to make sure that you um, are safe because you never know the temperament of them. Big bit of cork bark in there so it can sit out on the front and also go around the back. Moistened it already, water dish in there. Just to let them relax for a couple of days, then I'll feed them to see if they take food, but then it will be with the big female. So I've got two, so we'll have to pick which ones um, we're going to put in first. The weakest one. Right. Ready? Yeah. Let's see what's... what's... Da, da, da. He's coming to get you. Too lazy facing that way. Yeah. So that's one of the males. That's matured out. In beautiful condition. Mm -hmm. Let's just see what the temperament's like. Okay. That's him saying, what the hell was that? <laughs> Right, so I'm going to have to do it the other way. I wanted to do it so you could just see them walk straight up and in. Okay, so um, turned around on me, but uh, just trying to let him have a walk around, see if I can get him in the enclosure. Very good size. 
See if I can give you a close up. Handsome fella. They do always seem darker, the males, than the females. Females are a little bit more vibrant, um, but it's very, very good condition, this one. So I'm going to try and get him rehoused as quick as I can. There you go. So he's a good size, actually, but nowhere near as big as my female. No way he's already starting to drum. So he's ready to go. I just saw him drum then. But just give me a second, I just want to get him in the cup and then I'll put him in and we'll have a look at the So there we have it, you can see the yellow coloration on him. There we go. Almost has like brownish, yellowish tinge hair on the abdomen and everything as well. So Definitely matured, still eager to go because I've just seen him drum a couple of times on the bass. So let's see if I can just get him in. I've got in the bath and he didn't show me any aggression. No way, he's drumming, yeah, he's drumming already. Yeah, he's fully matured. Wow. But I've got good footage of that. His, on yeah, I know. That's what the female doesn't have. He's got gold and brown and yellow. It's amazed by the hairs. But if you see the size of my hand here, he's a lot smaller, but the leg span is good, but where the female I've got is massive. She dwarfs him, doesn't she? She's got a giant butt. Yeah, but to show you the size, this is, um, if I was doing this for a long time and he was going to stay in it for a long time, he wouldn't be in this. He'd be in something a bit bigger, but this would be perfect for him. The camera's for the showing that blue on his legs, showing up the blue. Yeah. But he was drumming straight away. I was amazed by it. Look at the colours. So he's ready to go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, so second enclosure, exactly the same. Cork bark, substrate, all misted. But it's just somewhere for them to sit, stand, until they get time to pair. Right, let's have a look at number two. Ideally, if they're facing the right way, straight up and in. Hmm. There we go. Like I said, so this one looks a little bit smaller, doesn't it? That same, any? Mm -hmm. It's funny how they look so brown there, but in another light, yellow and blue underneath. Scarce of them. Come on, dude. There we go. Come on. So this is male number two, Casanova, <laughs> and he's not drummed or anything, but he's obviously aware of me. So we'll see if we can get him in, and then we will continue this with like a part two when we start doing a, the breeding video. But I need to keep feeding up the female just so she doesn't kill these because I'm going to try my hardest so they don't but she is very very big which you will soon see in a future video so let me just see if I can get this one in Mm. 
Thank you, buddy. Ding. There we go. Oh, I see all the purple now, oh, lad. Nice and easy. Do you get close ups? I'll put the lid on then I'll pick him up. Beautiful, aren't they? Mm. Males and the females, both gorgeous. So. One, one clip, they're purple, then they're blue. There you have it. Oh, that's a good thumbnail right there. I like that one. So excited for that. So that's like a little birthday present to myself as well. Mm -hmm. But you can see he's, you can see his sex organs. And I'm not too worried about the female eating these because she's not aggressive at all, is she? She's so placid. But I will be intervening just in case. But she often runs away, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She's quite skittish, but you can see these won't settle into like a home sort of state. They're just going to be permanently roaming now. So I'm going to give them a few days a week, and then we will start pairing them one at a time over different occasions. But thanks very much for watching that on this video, guys. And uh, comment something below, or leave uh, a like or anything like that at all. Give us any of your opinions and uh, look forward to seeing the next video. So thanks very much.